Hey everyone, Don with Brazier Toneworks and thanks for watching. Today's video is about the Super Strat wiring mod. This came out back in the uh, late 80s. I remember seeing this in a magazine. So I thought I'd put this together for you. It's basically replacing the five-way switch on a Stratocaster with three mini toggle switches. And what you get out of this are 12 total pickup combinations and or sounds if you consider series and parallel together. So let's get started. Okay, looking at the components, we have our pickups, single volume, two-tone, output jack. We're going to have two DPDT switches. You can see the N and the M, that's for neck in the middle. Those are going to be DPDTs. And the bottom for the bridge is an on-on-on or a DP3T switch. So make sure you do get the correct switches. I always like to make sure people understand my videos. So identifying the lugs on the switches. On the left side, we have A123. On the right side, we have B123. And on our pots, we have L1, L2, and L3. Please keep the order in mind. If the pot is inverted, I do not change the order of the lugs. As always, we start with grounding. I use the top of the volume pot as my central grounding point. So I'm going to ground the top of all of the pots together and end at the top of the volume pot. Remember, on a volume pot, lug L3 is always grounded, so please make sure you do that. In this particular case, we also need to ground lug A3 of our bridge switch. And remember, this is the on-on-on switch. Moving on to the output jack, we're going to take ground to the ring portion, and we're going to go from L2 of our volume pot to the tip portion of our output jack. Okay, moving on to capacitors. As always, these are highly subjective. Feel free to use whatever value or type you wish. For the center tone pot, you're going to connect one lead to L3, and the other side of the capacitor is going to be connected to A2 of the next switch. For the bottom tone pot, you again are going to connect one lead to L3, and the other side of the capacitor is going to A3 of the next switch. Next, we're going to wire in the pickup. So we're going to start with the neck, and we're going to take the hot, and we're going to go to B2 of our next switch. And the ground, or the negative lead, is going to go to A2 of the next switch. For our middle pickup, we're going to take the hot, and you're going to go to A2 of the middle switch. And we're going to take the ground and go to a3 of the next switch. And finally, for our bridge pickup, we're going to take the hot and go to A1 of the bridge switch and the negative to A3 of that same switch. Now we're going to wire up the pots themselves. So starting with the neck switch, we're going to go from B2 and we're going to go to L2 of the center tone pot. From the middle switch, we're going to go from A2 to the center L2 lug of the bottom tone pot. And for the bridge switch, we're going to go from B2 to L1 of the volume pot. Okay, so now we're going to start to wire up the switches. So please pay attention. This does get a little bit confusing since I'm using the same uh, lug numbers from uh, switch to switch. So going from the Neck switch, we're going to take a lead from A2 on the next switch to A1 on the middle switch. And you can see that here in red. Then from the neck switch, we're going to take a wire from A3 down to A2 of the bridge switch. And that one's shown in green. Then we have from B2 of the next switch to B2 of the middle switch, shown in blue. And lastly, we have B3 on the next switch going to A3 of the middle switch. Now, to wire up the middle switch, we'll take a lead from A3 on that middle switch to B2 on the bridge switch, shown here in brown. And finally, we will take a lead from B1 on the middle to B1 on the bridge, shown here in red. Now lastly, we have to just wire up a simple jumper on our bridge switch from A1 down to B3, and you can see that here in black. Okay, and that's it. We are done with this particular mod. So let's take a look at what's going to happen when we use these switches. If you look at the top pictures, you can see that the switch either goes up or down for the neck or the middle, 
And on the bridge, obviously it's in on, on, on. So there are three positions. So we have up, middle, and down. And I've designated the up is always going to be one. The down is always going to be two. And on that final bridge switch, the middle position is a zero. So if we start to work our way down, if we have a two, one, zero combination, we will have the neck only. Obviously, one, two, zero would be middle only, which represents the drawing I have above. So you can see how this works. Moving down, you can have your bridge only. You can have your neck and middle in parallel, neck and bridge in parallel, middle and bridge in parallel. Then we can move to series, and then we can have all three pickups together in parallel series or series parallel. Now, I will admit, this mod is not for everybody. That ability to flip toggle switches on and off, remember the position, is something that some people just don't want to have to do. I completely get it. But there are guys out there who are looking for as many combinations as you can possibly put into a guitar. This is one that will get you now up to 12. It's an interesting mod. Please make sure you get the right type of switches. You need two DPDT on-on switches for the neck in the middle, and you need an on-on-on or a DP3T switch for the bridge. Once you got those wired up, you should be all good to go. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions about this mod, you can please email me at braziatoneworks at gmail.com. And remember, tone. It's not just a knob. It's sound advice. Thanks.